we um, we can also well, we, we we saw how we compute the correlate uh, the um, correlation, and if you have some data and compute the correlation, you can also like with all the other point estimates test that how significant uh, your your sample um, uh, variant um, correlation is. And we can do this either using the Bayesian approach, and that's shown here. Uh, and you do this by use, applying these, this um, posterior probability. Um, that's been uh, first presented by Jeffrey, so that's also called Jeffrey um, posterior or Jeffrey's method. Um, so what you need to do is you need to compute your sample correlation R, and then you comp and this formula then gives you the probability that the population has a value of rho equals something. Yeah. I did this here for um, two different data points, uh, data sets, which are he here and here, and they are the same. This one, a difference. Um, in the top panel, I use I add the number of outlier points that are drawn from a different underlying population. Yeah, so here I add two, but I can also add five or something. So these are the two data points, and um, the outlier is are uh, shown in red. So this is one this is one, but this and this and this is also one. Just because they are from a different population means that they, does not mean that they are always far away. Yeah? Now, um, on the right hand side, I, I plot this function here, normalized to one again, like we did all the time. And this gives us, here, and the correlation coefficient is given here. So our sample here has 57% and this outlier 25% of correlation. And on the right hand side we now see the, um, the uh, posterior probability distribution which, use, which should also be centered around our data point. Yeah. Um, and with this information we could now compute the probability that the population um, correlation coefficient is, for example, larger than 50% or so, and integrate the, the curve, or I don't know, that it's above zero, that there is some correlation taking, or what, yeah, yeah. Okay. But you also note that um, the co contamination with outliers large, always heavily affects the, um, the result. And since in this formula, the sample size is also a parameter, we can also turn around um, um, the computation and ask, for a given population correlation coefficient, how large needs our sample to be in order to result in a 95% uh, level of significance or something? Yeah? And that's plotted here that depending on uh, the values of R, so 25%, 50%, 75%, how large needs our sample to be to get to some probability that we can actually determine um, the population um, parameter.